Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. All right, so Gemini, what do we got in store for you? All right, Gemini, lots of communication coming in. All right, something from the past. Somebody's trying to bring up something from the past. Something that is very much unclear. It could leave you emotional a little bit. Something nostalgic. Also leave you in your head. And there's something about, because there's a king and a queen of pentacles here. So some type of marriage, some type of situation, some type of a marriage is a blend, some type of partnership. Also, this situation is being balanced out. And it's like somebody's about to get away with murder, more or less. But something that is, or somebody got away with murder... Something, some type of abandonment, somebody sneaking off, somebody running away. Then there's something about somebody being taught a lesson here. So some type of lesson being taught about or behind being sneaky or some type of betrayal that went down. So this is somebody that's very close to you, Gemini. And something about basically like the universe trying to tell you something. The universe is trying to tell you something. So apparently your subconscious mind, you've been having dreams about whatever this is. Some type of revelation coming to you about whatever this situation is for you, Gemini. All right. But either way, the universe is trying to make clear to you whatever this situation you're dealing with is happening behind the scenes trying to make it very clear to you all right so we have the ten of cups there that's the wish card emotional fulfillment it's like having everything a manifestation card not a wish card so a manifestation you've manifested or manifesting you're manifesting emotional fulfillment in so many different ways um security so that's financial security, wealth, and abundance. Um, awareness of a full balanced life. So apparently things are shifting for you right now, Gemini. So this is like a completion of belonging, finding your soul family, like getting in where you fit in. The people who are just like you. So finding your community, achieving the life you've always wanted, being appreciated for everything that you are and everything that you are being um, have given. So a reciprocation of energy happening, Gemini. All right, so then we have the higher, uh, mm, I don't know why I want to say the higher friend because it was already came out, but that's the high priestess. So um, knowing some stuff, again, subconscious mind type thing, trusting your intuition here. There's also things happening behind the scenes, more secrets, actually, Gemini, that either you're keeping or you're not aware of. We have the ace of wands here, a new beginning, creative sparks definitely something changing in your energy an upsurge of optimism creativity and enthusiasm new ideas or passion for something so listening to your intuition is here it's more like trusting yourself gemini and knowing what it is that you want and how you want it so like really really honestly being truthful with yourself and then we have the world here that's a level up a completion with an ending more or less so a completion of a task an ending and a new beginning so closing up closing doors and obtaining what you seek more fulfillment it's like getting the very thing that you've always wanted and although it may may not have came the way you thought it should have come it's still a fulfillment so having a greater understanding of who you are and everything that you've been through is going through the next stage, next phase 
of your journey. Okay, so I'm going to just do this like this. We have um, a page of cups. So understanding who you are and a new journey. So more exploration here. But this is like emotion and not being afraid to express yourself. So not keeping things in. We have the nine of wands here. Wanting to change your mind about a situation. Also creating your own destiny. And realizing like you don't like where you are along your path. So moving into a new transition. Something different. But now figuring out. I'm this person. And so my pathway needs to go this way. Or I want it to go this way. Alright. Let's clarify this. Ten of Cups, please. Let's clarify this Ten of Cups, please, for Gemini. Okay, Gemini. So, more truth on the table. So, a great communicator. Um, understanding who you are. So, that's like being action-oriented. Driven. On a mission. Being assertive at getting what you want. So, openly expressing this is what i want this is how i want it so and and at moving forward into going to go get it all right what is this high priestess here for gemini so please okay high priestess gemini you may be moving in a different direction and you're not telling anybody it's like you because you have cards that are saying your journey your journey so you doing what you want how you want it so being excited about love, being excited about life, following your own path, being very passionate and being very creative, experiencing life for what it is, trying something new and trying to figure out your purpose. So standing up and saying, okay, this is what I want. This is how I want the rest of my life to be. This is the direction that I want to go in and making a plan. And although we make plans, please clarify this Ace of Wands for Gemini. What is this Ace of Wands for Gemini? We make plans and sometimes we get detoured, but either way, it's still there. Clarify. Okay. All right. So we got a, a Queen of Wands. We make plans and sometimes we get detoured, but that doesn't mean that we're denied. So even if the pathway is a little rocky or a little curvy or a little your destination, it's still the same. What it is that you want, where it is that you want to go how you want your life to create it. So it's like you being an architect, Gemini, and you creating a life that you want, you desire. All right, so we have a queen of wands here. This is somebody that's very confident, very wise. This is somebody that could be a teacher, um, somebody that's very pos positive, somebody that's very optimistic, and somebody that's very good at inspiring others. So Gemini, you may be looking into taking some classes, or you could be the teacher here. Having a new beginning and a new start, this could also be somebody that is like a mentor, somebody that is like a counselor, somebody that is like um, a guide. That could be you all together, Gemini. It could be your, your dual personality, your dual alter ego, because Geminis are like very smart, communicating. You guys are very good teachers. So that might be the direction of saying that you now understanding that part of your purpose is teaching and guiding. All right, so the world is here, that level up. Let's clarify that level up for Gemini, okay? Gemini, it's almost like you can't see how far you've come. This is, this is, the card, this is one of the cards that was out there that came in that whole big pack. So the moon, changes in your life, transition, we already talked about that, but being fearful more or less because you can't see where the journey is taking you. And you could be feeling a little anxious about where it is or how it is that this is going to happen, but either way, just still going, even though you could be afraid. So also, this is about not making decisions right now because you don't have all the answers you don't everything is not on the table everything is not there so don't believe everything you see here or think at this moment in time there's more going on going on behind the scenes more than meets the eye you don't have all the facts so basically you need time 
to see things clearly. So seeing the whole pathway, the pathway isn't clear. There's a little brush and a little tree there. Clarify this page of cups, please, for Gemini. All right, Gemini, you got two cards. All right, we got a three of swords and an ace of swords here. So emotions, dealing with your emotions. So we have past hurts here. So ace of ace of swords is mental energy. So a lot of thinking happening, um, trying to gain clarity because you need clarity here. More of the new phase, the new plans, new projects, new, it's a lot of new stuff happening here. And again, you can't see everything that's happening behind the scenes. So a bright idea coming out of nowhere. Also, meanwhile, you need to make sure that you're seeing it clearly, whatever this is, ha whatever's happening. So it's almost like you being, um, having to deal with your emotional side. Are you in touch with your feminine side, male or female? Are you in touch with your feminine side? It's okay to cry because there's a lot of rain here, a lot of water. So you could potentially be crying. Um, there's also, this is the three of swords. That's heartbreak, betrayal, loneliness, loneliness, loss, hurt, and a period of difficulty or hardship. Some serious misunderstanding, some confusion. So that's also not seeing things clearly. It's like you got to step back. It can also indicate a third party interference, stirring up trouble. That could be friends, family, or just could also signify infidelity divorce or separation but stepping up to the plate and dealing with those emotions if you're hurt you're hurt process it so you can move on into the next phase because this could potentially leave you stuck and cloudy and that's not where you want to be because it's cloudy here okay all right so clarify this nine of wands for gemini okay gemini so that's the five of pentacles so with the nine of wands being not liking where you are, wanting to give up, changing your mind, recovering from past hurts, creating your own destiny, you could be feeling like pretty much like you got left out in the cold or you trying to come back in from out of the cold. And that could be a place that you put yourself because at the end of the day, we already talked about where it's like, not liking where you are, wanting to change your mind, creating your own destiny. You are the architect, recovering from past hurts, admitting that things hurt because things hurt in the world. So it's almost like a person being stubborn and saying, okay, I felt nothing behind that. It didn't hurt me. Um, meanwhile, back at band camp, in order for you to be able to push through to the next phase, it's like that's part of the healing journey dual personalities gemini y'all are a twin so um yin and yang masculine and feminine so dealing with whatever it is that you, whatever situation whatever it is you felt behind it or didn't feel behind it or wanted to change about it it's like that's something that you have to go through in order for you to figure this next phase out of your life Meanwhile, it's like, it's at the tip of your tongue. It's at the tip of your mind. Like, you know, it's like one of those things where you're clicking like, I know what it is. I just can't. It's there, but it's also because you're not processing the full back and forth of whatever this is that you're dealing with. So Gemini, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. If you wish to donate towards my channel, the links are in the description box. See you next time. Go with God.